In this video, I'm going to do a step-by-step -step beginner tutorial on how to swap crypto inside the Phantom Wallet. I'll start out by showing you how to create a new wallet, how to fund the wallet with some crypto, and then how to swap one crypto into another. Now, if you're already familiar with any of those steps, you can always use the timestamps in the description down below to skip to a section that's most relevant to you. This video is not financial advice. This video is for educational purposes only. Always do your own research before ever using a self-custody hot wallet, including the Phantom Wallet. Let's get into the video. First things first, if you don't already have the Phantom Wallet, we'll need to download that from phantom.app. And I'll leave a link to this site in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. In this tutorial, I'm using the Chrome browser, so I'm going to download the wallet for Chrome by clicking right here. Then on this page, I'm going to come right up here and click Add to Chrome. And Add Extension. Next, we can choose to import an existing wallet by simply clicking right here. Then you'll have to put in your 12 word secret phrase in order to import your existing wallet. If you're creating a new wallet, we'll simply click right here. Next, come up with a really good password. This password is simply used to unlock the wallet on this specific device that you're using. This is not your seed phrase and you can't use this password to import your wallet to other devices. We'll be dealing with that on the next step. So simply come up with a good password, read through the terms of service, check this box here, then click on continue. On this step here, you'll have to write down your secret recovery phrase. And you can think of this like a master key to your wallet. You can use this secret recovery phrase to recover your wallet, as well as import your wallet to other devices. Just make sure that no one else gets their hands on this recovery phrase. If they do, they're going to have access to your wallet and all the funds inside it. Some folks will even get these recovery phrases ingrained on a metal card. That way, if there's ever a fire, the recovery phrase doesn't get destroyed. So however you choose to back up this recovery phrase, just keep it somewhere safe and don't let anybody get their hands on it. To reveal your secret recovery phrase, just hover your mouse over top of that eye icon. Once you're done writing it down, check this box right here and then click on continue. And you're all done. You'll have created a new phantom wallet. So we'll go ahead and click right here on get started. So what we'll do from here is we'll come up, we'll pin the wallet to our browser. So we'll come up to this little puzzle piece, give it a click. Then we'll click on the pin icon next to Phantom. Now we've pinned it to our browser. Now we can click on the Phantom wallet icon, wallet's going to drop down, and we can put in the password that we came up with when creating the wallet. Now we're ready to fund the wallet and do some swapping. So the first thing we need to do is fund the wallet with the native token of the network that we wish to use. So if we come up here to the wallet and hover over account one, You'll see at least at the time of recording, there's four different networks here. You have the Solana network, the Ethereum network, and the Polygon network. So the native token for Solana is Sol. So if you want to do any swapping on the Solana network, you'll have to send some Solana into your Phantom wallet. If you're using the Ethereum network, the native token would be Ethereum. So you'd have to fund your wallet with Ethereum on the Ethereum network. When you're swapping, the transaction fees are paid for out of the native token of the network that you're using. So whatever swapping you're doing, just make sure that you have some of the native token for the network that you wish to swap on. For this tutorial, I'll demonstrate with the Solana network. So I need to fund the Phantom Wallet with some Solana. Now I can get this done by using the buy option right here and I can buy some Solana through a third party service provider, but I already have some Solana on Coinbase. So I'll just go ahead and send that Solana from Coinbase and into my Phantom Wallet. So I'll bring Coinbase into frame. Now that I'm on Coinbase, I'm going to come up here where it says send and receive and give it a click. And here on the crypto withdraw form, I need to make sure I'm set to send. Now, if you're using the Kraken exchange, you're looking for the transfer button, then you'd select withdraw. If you're using a major exchange like Binance or an exchange just like it, you're looking for the crypto withdrawal button, which is found on the dashboard of the exchange. Either way, you want to get to the crypto withdraw form. So next I need to choose the crypto I wish to send from Coinbase and over to the Phantom Wallet. In my case here, I wanna send some Solana because I'm gonna be doing swaps on the Solana network. And I can see I'm already set to Solana right here, but if I wasn't, I'd give it a click. And then I would choose Solana from this drop-down menu here or I'd search for it in the search bar. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this set to Solana. Now I need to retrieve my Solana deposit address for the Phantom Wallet. So I'm gonna come up here, click on the Phantom icon, 
I'm going to hover over account and I'm going to click on the address next to Solana. This is the deposit address for all the tokens that are compatible on the Solana network, including Solana. So I'm going to give it a click and copy it. Now I'm going to come back over here to Coinbase and I'm going to click right here on select recipient. Then I'm going to paste in my phantom deposit address for Solana into this box right here. Now I've already whitelisted this address and you can see it right here, my phantom burner wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on that. But if you need to add the wallet address, give the wallet a name and then add the address. Now I'm ready to send some Solana from Coinbase and into my phantom wallet. Now I can choose how much Solana that I wish to send into the wallet like so, or I can just simply click on max. I just have a tiny amount of Solana here for the purposes of this tutorial. So I'll just go ahead and click on max. And now I'm ready to send this from Coinbase and into my phantom wallet. So I'm going to come down here, click on preview send. I'm going to select self custody wallet, review the details. Looks good to me. So I'm going to come down here and click on send. And now that Solana is on its way from Coinbase and into my phantom wallet. So I'm just going to go ahead and click here on done. And here's a quick tip. If it's your first time funding your wallet, just send a small amount of crypto first. When the smaller amount arrives inside your wallet, as you intended, then you can have the confidence to send larger amounts. And it looks like the Solana has arrived in my Phantom Wallet. So we'll come up here, click on the Phantom icon. And now the Solana is inside the Phantom Wallet. And this can take a little bit of time. In this case here, it just took a few minutes. Now I'm ready to do some swapping on the Solana network. So to get this done, we'll come up here and click on the Phantom icon. And the wallet's going to drop down. And right here, you'll see the balances of all the crypto that you store inside your Phantom Wallet. In my case here, all I have is that small amount of Solana that I just sent in from Coinbase. To get to the swapping, just click right here on Swap. Next, choose the crypto that you wish to swap by clicking right here. Then click on the crypto that you wish to swap, and alternatively, you can search for it in the search bar up above. I just have this Solana, so I'll go ahead and click on that. Now I'm set up to swap my Solana. So next, choose the crypto that you wish to swap into by clicking right here. Then you can select a crypto that you want to swap into from this list right here. And alternatively, you can search for it in the search bar up above. In my case, I'm swapping some Solana on the Solana network. So I want to make sure that this is set to Solana. If you're using the Ethereum network, you'd make sure to set this to Ethereum. And of course, if you're using the Polygon network, set it to Polygon. And remember, you'll need some of the network's native token to cover the transaction fee for swapping. So if you're swapping on Polygon, you're going to need some Matic inside your Phantom Wallet. If you're swapping on Ethereum, you'll need some Ethereum inside your Phantom Wallet. Once you find the crypto you wish to swap into, just simply click on it. And once again, you can search for one. I'll go ahead and do USDT for this first demonstration. Now I can see a result right here. And you'll notice that the Solana logo is located bottom right hand side of the Tether logo, indicating that this is Tether on the Solana network. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a click. Now I'm set up to swap some Solana into Tether. So next, choose how much you wish to swap. I'll go ahead and do not point to Solana. Now the Phantom Wallet is estimating approximately how much Tether I'll be receiving for not point to Solana. And you'll also be able to see the provider right down here. The Phantom Wallet is like a swap aggregator. So it's going to scan multiple different swaps and it's going to fetch you the best deal for your swap at the time of making your swap. So in my case here, you can see the providers that the Phantom Wallet's going to use for my particular swap. Looks fine to me, so I'm gonna come down here and click on Review Order. Next, you can review the details of your swap. So you can see there's going to be a small fee right here, which is only gonna be about one cent worth of Solana. I can see the provider here. The price impact for this particular swap is going to be 0%. That's because Solana and Tether have a pile of liquidity. For slippage, you can see right here that this is at 0.5. So there could be a 0.5% variance in this swap. The more liquidity in the token that you're swapping into, the less slippage you'll likely incur. And you'll see right here that this quote will also include a 0.85% phantom fee. And that's for the convenience of the phantom wallet retrieving you the best deal at the time of making your swap. Of course, if you want to save on that fee, you can see the provider right here, and you can always navigate directly to that provider if you wish. Then just do that swap directly through that provider. In my case here, this is such a small swap, so I don't mind. And I'm going to come down here and click on swap. Now I'm swapping some Solana into Tether on the Solana network. Just like that, it's done. So we'll come down here and click on close. Now we'll come down here, click on this dollar sign. 
And what you can see here is that the Phantom Wallet automatically added Tether to the wallet and is now displaying my Tether balance for that swap. Now, if I want to swap that Tether into something else, I can click on Tether, I can click on Swap. Now we're back to the swap form. So I can click right here where it says Solana, and I can select Tether down below. Next, I'll choose the crypto I wish to swap into, so we'll click here on Solana. Let's go ahead and do Dog With Hat. So we'll click on that. Now I'm ready to swap some Tether into Dog With Hat. So for this demonstration, I'll just click on Max. And right here, I can see approximately how much of this token I'll be receiving from my Tether. So now I'll come down here and click on Review Order. Review the details. If it looks good to you, click here on Swap. And it's all done. So we'll come down here and click on Close. And we'll click here on this little dollar sign. Now, as you can see, the wallet automatically added this token down below and is now displaying my balance. At the same time, it removed Tether because I swapped all of my Tether into Dog With Hat. So now that I don't have a Tether balance, the wallet simply removed it. And if I want to swap this back into my Solana, I just click on it, click on Swap. We can either click right here to select the crypto, or I can just click on this little arrow right here. Now I'm set to swap Dog With Hat into Solana. So I'll just go ahead and click on Max, come down here, click on Review Order, and swap away. And it's done. So we'll click on Close, click on the dollar sign. Now, as you can see, I'm now fully back into Solana. And the wallet automatically removed Dog With Hat because I swapped my entire balance. Now, if you don't find the token you wish to swap into inside of the Phantom Wallet, you could always try pasting in the token's contract address for the network that you're looking to swap on. And usually you can retrieve that information from a coin registry, such as CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap. Sometimes you'll find it on CoinGecko, and sometimes you'll find it on CoinMarketCap. If you don't find it on either of those registries, you could always try going to that token's official website and retrieving the information from there. But I'll do a quick demonstration using CoinMarketCap. So I'll quickly bring that into frame. Now that I'm on CoinMarketCap, I can use the search feature right here top right hand side. And it would be the same thing on CoinGecko, just simply use the search feature. And in this box here, type in the name of the crypto that you wish to swap into. I'll just demonstrate with Tether, so I'm going to go USDT. But of course, search for the token that you're looking for. I can see a result right here, so we'll click on that. Now if we come over here on the left hand side, you'll see where it says contracts. And here's where you're going to find all the different networks that token is compatible with. And you can do that by hovering over where it says more. Then you'll get a drop down with all the different networks that it's compatible with. And I can see Solana right here. So what I'll do is I'll copy this contract address for Tether by simply clicking on these two little boxes. Now we'll come up here to the Phantom Wallet, give it a click. We'll click right here on Swap. We'll choose the crypto we wish to swap by clicking here. In my case, that's Solana, so I'll click on that. Now we'll click right here and we'll paste in the contract address right here, just like this. And if the token is compatible with that network and is supported by the Phantom Wallet, you'll see it come up down below. Then just simply click on it and then proceed to do your swap from there. And there you have it. That's how you can swap one crypto into another. If you got some value out of that, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe for future content. Also feel free to check out my The Phantom Wallet tutorials, which I put together in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.